So I was editing my last magazine collage page and I had just the funnest idea for us to try. Like a waterfall of body shapes. So I need to find like three. Oh, here we go. So we are going to do three, maybe four pages where we have like a magazine collage here. And then there's going to be a woman here. And then this one is gonna go a little bit longer. We'll have a collage here. And then this one is gonna be the end. Okay, so I need really fun shaped magazine-y collage people. And I got out a bunch of my cool girl books. So we are going to this is March 2008. This is an older one. So we are going to be looking just on this run through for really cool side silhouettes and we need some heads. So I may pull out more than we normally do because I don't know what's going to be going on. But I want, um, I was, this is my editing headphone. Okay, so she has a shape, but that's not what I'm really looking for. This could work because we could have the side of her. Oh, I love her face. Oh, I love her face. Okay, we're gonna... Do I want that big a face? I think I want more this size face than this size face. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna leave her there for a minute. Okay, so more this size face, but she's got her shoulder up in there, but we could use her eyes if we wanted to. Ooh, I love how her body is right there. So let's take her out. So I want them all to go together. So we're gonna want all similar size bodies to this. Maybe not exactly, but close, right? So we wouldn't want somebody who's the whole, height of the page. And I want to see their feet and their legs. So you yell if you see a good, I'm kind of, I'm kind of on the bodies right now. So unless I see a head that jumps out at me, I might not notice a good face. And then we're going to have to find, this is going to be more than one video because then we're going to have to find decoupage stuff for each of those pages. But this is going to be a fun one. So there's a body we could use if we had the rest of her arm because we need that whole right side. Jamie Lynn was almost perfect. So this girl could be okay, but her arm, so this girl's arm kind of comes down here and we're gonna get kind of a wonky silhouette. Her arm sticking out like by itself, I think could be problematic. Oh, I love her. We're gonna use, Maybe her head. Oh, that's a big eye. This is too small, but it could be okay if it wasn't so small. Oh, I could do a crouching girl too, if she's about yay big. Because then we can use her head for the top. All right, her, she's too tall. Her legs are unreasonably long. I could give her a leg adjustment. She's kind of a cool body. I'm gonna take her out, let's see. If we took off part of her leg and stuck her toes back in, she's a, just like a hair too big. And I have tons of magazines, so I'm gonna find like exactly what I want. I am gonna be crazy judgy this time. I want exactly the right size. You know how sometimes I'm like, we'll make it work. No, I'm not making it work this time. 
And like I said, we're going to come back through all these magazines and we're going to find stuff for the background. So if you see stuff flying past and you're like, but, 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 don't worry, we're coming back. Just for right now, I'm trying to get those body shapes. Ooh, those are fun. As I say, don't worry, I'm not taking anything out of there. Those were just really cool. This, if there was a sharper edge to her dress, I would consider. Another big eye. Keep your eyes out for big eyes. Big eyes are awesome to use in magazine collage. Turtles. How cute is he? We had a turtle. Johnny rescued a turtle and then bought him like the nicest cage. And he hung out with us for a couple of years and then he passed. Turtles turtles are not a hardy creature. I I wish Queen I'm going to take Queen Latifah because I don't want all skinny perfect bodies. We're going to see if we can get Queen Latifah to work. Maybe we'll put a bigger head on her body. No offense to skinny girls. Now you know Desi. Desi is has just like the perfect shape. She is gorgeous. So I'm not skinny shaming anybody, but you see in these magazines a lot of skinny, skinny girls. And I would like to represent, seriously, who does work in their high heels? Ooh, we could do a pregnant girl. That would be fun too. We are an inclusive, what are we calling this? A waterfall page? I'm going to call it a waterfall page. Hers would be okay if she wasn't so choppy chopped. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's call it that. Interesting. Not tall enough. They forgot to shave. I don't think they forgot to shave. You're getting ready for the red carpet. You don't just forget things. Hi, honey. Kitty's here. There's a shock. Hi, Kitty. You want to come up? Ooh, this girl. Let's see. Oh, she could be the right size face. Let's do her. What's this? What's going on here? Oh, I wish she was just a little smaller. We would use her. Okay. A star is born. Ooh, she has a doggle. All right, let's keep going. Oh, she's got an arm sticking out. She's close. Is she about the same size as these girls? So these girls, I feel like she just feels a little too big compared to them. This is all kinds of messed up. If I used this, nobody would understand what was going on and they'd be like, I don't know what's happening and I'm just confused. I don't want to confuse people. I want them to be interested. Oh, she's too tall. She won't fit on my page, I don't think, with a head. Yeah. Gosh darn it, because she is a perfect shape for being the edge of a page. If her arm was there, we would use her. Oh, look at those girls. All right, now we're switching over to Glamour with Katie. This is 2009. I um, get older magazines. Ooh, Madonna. I don't think that's Madonna, though. Could we use her eyes as swap-out eyes? I think we could. We might use her eyes. 2009. Katie, I think, was still married to Tom Cruise at that point. Okay, arm sticking out, no good. Ooh, I wish her legs were there, or her feet. Yeah. We're not going to struggle to find, we have enough problems with this design without using somebody without feet. Uh, close. Big eye. I just need one more for now, peeps. Come on. And then we can start trying to figure out what we're gonna do for design. 
I could do her. Yep, we could do her for sure. So she is going to be our third. Now, so we have three totally different girls, right? We've got like 80s fun. We've got preppy girl. We've got Queen Latifah. And we are going to do, so I was thinking, I kind of want to do, I love rainbow stuff. So I may do this in rainbowy stuff. So watch for colored things. We're going to go to some of these other magazines and start there. Oh, this is Belle. This is actually, I grabbed that. That is a super bougie uh, home magazine. This girl, we could swap out her eyes with this girl. So we have some heads and then we have these shoes, which don't really go with. So we may do rainbow, we may do colorful. I'm not sure yet. So let's see, we're gonna, oh, we should find their heads first. I need at least one more head and maybe some eyes. Let's do this in a dignified manner, peeps. Oh, we could do Julia's head and her eyes. She's got the right size head. We could play with Julia. Those are just a bit too big. I've used them before. I love those glasses. Let's keep looking for some heads or some glasses. I'm actually looking around a little bit more than I did last time. Last time I was looking for just bodies. So this is a different magazine anyways. Sophia. I made the most beautiful like, I made the most beautiful tags I have ever made. Hold on, they're right here. Look, I made butterfly tags for a free printable. They're not out yet, so don't look for them. But they're going to be coming out, so you can watch for them. There's blue. Okay, so let's take this for blue. Blue. I kind of love her, but she's very... Uh, Berry. Oh, look at that. I wonder if there's going to be something pretty. Uh, she is very, like, salesy, right? She's a, I believe, Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, God. I'm starting to know the ads. I'm in marketing. I've been in marketing my whole life. Ooh, ooh, pretty colors. I have been in marketing for the last 20 years, so... I notice marketing things more than I notice anything else. I'm trying to convince Johnny. So I read this report. I'm 54, and so, um, you know, I'm in perimenopause. Too big. Um, so I'm trying to convince Johnny that the fact that I only have to pay attention to my family because I'm thinking about marketing most of the time is because of menopause. He's not buying it so far, but I'm going to keep selling. Oh, there's blue. Yep, and blue. Okay, so I have two blues. I have some pink, I have some yellow, I have some green. So we got some colors going. I just wanna to try to keep in the back of my head what we have going. That's cute, but I wouldn't wanna take it out till I know what we would be using it for, or you know, I don't really have a good feel on what our collage backgrounds are going to be yet. I've used those people for stuff. Oh, she's cute. What about her body? Ooh, I may have to pull her out too. Uh-oh, I got more than one. So we have a couple things we could do. We could do more ones or I could trade her out. I don't think having too much this time is a bad thing. All right, all right, we're gonna keep her in there. There's Angelia Jolie and Brad Pitt. Things aren't going well for them right now, I don't think. Okay. <laughs> There's purple, but not much of it. 
I don't want to waste a whole, like when I see a huge page of a color, I'll grab it, but just for little pops of purple. I've used this girl for something. Oh yeah. I've used this magazine before. There's purple. All right. There we go. Oh, sure. Earlier today, so Josiah, this is his first year of... They just got a blocked punt. They scored a touchdown. They're winning 19 to 10. They just got a blocked punt. So this is the first year Josiah's playing fantasy football with his I'm at dad. points now. And his father told him to be nice to the Steelers because they're my favorite but team. But I still want Stephon Diggs to get a touchdown because I'm not in first right now. Someone has like 103 points. Anyways, my son, oh, I love this. Do we want to use this for color? Do we want to use, I don't know yet if this is gonna be a pattern one, so let's not take that out yet. Ooh, this is a very pretty, um, that's a pretty green color. I would never use like just a weird green color. So that's a good green. I've used this in a background before, but I'm looking more for one color. Ooh, look at the hair. This is cool. Oh, I kind of love that. Do we got anything we would be ruining? Nope. We're going to maybe do something with that. Fancy. All right, there's blue. There's white. I've done something with this purple. Sometimes when you buy that more than one magazine, you get the you, <laughs> you use things over. Um, okay. Oh, there's red, pink. Nothing on the back. All right. Are we still looking for heads? Oh, she could have been a good body, but she's a little strange. Never, never. So what year is this? March. Oh, okay. So we could use this one. But it mostly, um, if you're never open the old bottles, because Desi opened one one time and it had gone rancid and it stunk. Oh my goodness. And we couldn't make it stop and it was just there. It was bad. It was bad. A bad scene. There's a bunny. Oh, I love these little things. I've made some really fun collages out of those. All right, I am going to go cut out some people. I'm gonna look for some stuff and I will be back and I'm not doing the background stuff too much, but um, I don't wanna take all the time for this video. I mean, like this video is gonna be a million years long anyways. So I don't want to um, take a million years just looking for stuff. So I'm gonna check out things and I will be back. Okay, this is for sure going to be a two-parter. We gotta find that whole little section that didn't have anything. We are going to, let's see, I have one, two, so I need this one. Because I have at least three pages. So I have this lady, I love her, she was an older woman. I have Queen Latifah, and I have this girl. So now we have to decide who gets to be in front and who's gonna be coming along the back. Well, that would have been bad, because that's another page. I think this girl goes in the middle and these, oh, there we go. That's what I wanna do. Okay, so we need to cut off these pages, right? Just to start staggering them and then we'll put the paper dolls together. So we want a third, a third, a third. This is eight inches wide, crap. We're doing two and a half. I don't know why there's so much math in art. No, we got to do three. We got to give, actually, let's do four, five and a half, four, four, six, and eight. Perfect. Four, 
I got stuff over here for six. And then the other girl will be right on the edge. Okay, here we go. Because this, yep, okay, here we go. We're, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make these pages shorter, right? And I don't need this to be any special way because we're gonna be putting these girls on and then cutting around them. Have I explained to you what we're doing? I don't remember. Oh, yesterday was rough. My friend, who I'm going to be doing a fun podcast, Judgy Marketing with, she had to change the day we talk, so then all of a sudden, I'm talking to her on Tuesday, and I have to take the dogs to the vet to get trip to get groomed, and then I had to... Uh, what else did I, oh, I had to take Grandma Linda to the, to the imaging place. So, okay, so we have three heads. I have more than three heads, but we have three faces we can use. I have these big eyes. I almost think these big eyes go on this girl. Because look, I have her big hair too. I think I have to pull them in a little bit, but I almost feel like because we can't go over the edge. We have to cut off the edge. But I could kind of pull her hair in a little bit. Let's do that. She's the only one that has hair at this point. The other girls were going to have to figure out something. Okay. So I leave their necks on so we can put them on and make a paper doll. Okay, I have to be able to get her whole body in. So we're going to have to tip her head. I don't think she can be the front one. I think she's going to have to be the back one. Okay, here we go. Boop, boop, boop. She's cute, but she's going to have to be the back one. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, Queen Latifah is shorter, too. So that's going to work out good. Okay, we're going to put her eyes with her. We'll be back to you. This girl, so we have this girl that will fit... And we have this girl, that's Julia Roberts, I know her. And we could put her eyes on her? Yeah. Yeah. Like that. But we'll cut them off so they fit better. Oh, that looks fun, huh? Okay, so that's going to be cute. Now we just need something happening with her to make her a little bit different. Let's see what happens. I thought I cut off a mouth, but it's missing. The universe has been eating my stuff. Oh, I don't think that makes her look pretty. I like people to look pretty. So we want somebody to look pretty. Okay, I found this girl who is gonna make an amazing background face and we're gonna put her eyes on her head. All right, so we're gonna do this and give her some hair. There we go. We gotta give her a neck because that's how we stick them on. That's Johnny. He's he talks to his people at work. It's kind of his job, but he's in his office now. Okay, here we go. And we gotta give her a little hair on this side. 100% natural hair, see? She had good hair, I saw that. Okay, so now we have, oh, that's cute. Okay, so I am going to cut off this side of her hair. I want to get that a little bit off here. We'll just go straight up for right now. And then I think this is the girl that's dark and moody in the um, vampire shows my kids watch. Okay, whoo, that works. Okay. So let's start putting these peeps together. 
I am going to put them together right on the page. If you don't want your stuff to stick to your stuff, don't do this. Because you shouldn't glue right on your page, but I do. So this is a grandma body. I like it. We wanna give her a neck. There we go. Oh, see, we're sticking to our page behind her. All right, now let's give her some eyes. And we want her nose and her eyes to go together, so we're gonna glue. I think I can take a little bit off the top, just to start. She has such pretty eyes, but I like to swap things out a little bit. And she, their eyes and their nose match perfectly. Good job, me. Okay, let's give that a second to dry, and then we'll cut off the edges. See, glue. Okay, let's do this one. Oh, I guess I could leave that on there. This looks good. Oh, I could probably glue her down just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna put this girl. Nope, that's Julia Roberts' hair. Okay, so the way I figure out how to put their eyes, no matter where they sit on their face, is I line up their noses. So her nose goes right there. So we are gonna line up the noses and that way, it looks, no matter where their eyes are, their faces look better if their noses match up. I don't know why, but I've done this a lot. You can just count on me for this one. Okay, and then we're going to make her a neck. Let's make sure she fits. Oh, she fits fine. Nice. She can even have kind of a little bit of a neck. We're going to do something with their heads later if they have heads. That's going to be in part two. You're going to have to watch part two because we have to do the backgrounds for these pages and then we need to cut the edges and then we're gonna um, be done for today. Cause then I have to find some more stuff. Okay, this one takes more work. So let's glue her on here. Such a pretty girl. And now we're gonna, I'm gonna cut the nose right there and I'm gonna cut the nose off right there. And then we're gonna see what happens because we gotta get these eyeballs smaller. Okay, sometimes this is fun. I like to make them sad. See, if you put their eyes backwards, it makes them look sad. Okay, so do I want the whole square? I'm kind of okay with that. I feel like I got way too much eyeballs going on. Let's cut some off. And I can cut some off the top. Hi, honey, you know they asked about you. You're internet famous because you yell. I know. Oh, there we go. And then we can cut off that little part that goes around there and cut off the little part that comes around here. No, we can't cut those parts off because this one we can't cut off because it'll cut off her eye. Okay, let's do this. I'm just going right up the middle for this second because I don't know if I want to cut some additional stuff off. And I wanna give myself the uh, ability to move things around, or to cut things off if I want. Okay. Trying to line up her irises. There we go. Yay. Okay, she looks a little sad. Oh, did her eye move? I think her eye moved. Yeah, see I might cut this is why I wanna keep this open. I feel like we have too much overlap on this one. So we're gonna cut closer to her eye and we're gonna cut closer to her eye and then there won't be so much overlap, right? But you can't tell that really until you get it stuck down. There we go. Yeah, see, I like that better. I didn't like how overlappy they were. All right, let's start cutting their bodies and they're next, so we're gonna do this. Come around here. And this makes it so much easier to do a neck. So the normal way is you would put all this down on your thing and you would try to cut her neck the right amount and blah, blah, blah. But I like to do it this way because then I just cut their necks right where they're supposed to be and then they look more realistic with their giant eyeballs. Oh, look, 
she looks cute. She looks amazing. Okay, I feel like I can glue down all of her and then we'll come back and glue her eyes. Here we go, here we go. Look at how Frankensteiny she is on the back. I guess I could have made the background first, but that ship has sailed. <laughs> do we want to real quick, let's real quick just put some paint down. I'm going to do, you're going to see just this. So let's do, I have some stuff. So let's do red and pink on her. Let's do green and blue on her. And we can do kind of pink and orange on her. Okay. So pink and red. Yeah, because I almost feel like I stuck her down too soon. Okay, let's do this. Nope, let's do the thing. I'm super indecisive this morning. That hardly ever happens. Okay, so we're gonna do pink. I just wanna get some color back here. Uh, picked raspberry, kitsch flamingo, and candied apple. I need to order some more candied apple. Okay, here we go. Let's get a pink -a brush. Let's get some water on here. We don't want to get water on her, but you can water distress paint. And I don't need it so much around the edges. Maybe we'll do something fun around her. I need more paint. Because I'm for sure going to outline her, right? I always do that. Well, and the fun thing is now I can do something different between her legs where the other girls I'm not going to be able to. So maybe I do paint them all second this time. Okay, let's do these guys so they don't dry. All right, we have this extra paper that we can use so we don't get our stuff all over our stuff. And I'm just trying to get a little color down. A little mixy color. And Distress Paint is great for collage because number one, it dries super fast, which makes me so happy. And number two, it dries matte, meaning there's no shine to it. And it dries, this is the weirdest thing about it, if you ask me, um, it dries super flat. And I don't know how to explain this, other than, you know how sometimes when you paint, you get ridges? Well, Distress Paint has no ridges. So then you don't have to worry about weird stuff happening with your collage. Everybody always says I paint so much. <laughs> I am not the world's best painter. Okay, so that's going to give us enough to have a little something, something going on behind the queen. All right, let's try this real quick. I'll be right back. So, the nice thing about Distress Paint is you can dry the crap out of it. I know that because Tim Holtz makes it, and he dries the crap out of everything he uses. All right, so I'm just cutting some border pieces. I'll show you how to do this one, and then when I do the other ones, I'm not going to make you watch me do borders. But some people ask. So, I like uppy-downy borders. So I like some pieces to be fat and some pieces to be skinny. Now, some people like straight borders, like they like all their borders to be the same width. It's, it's literally a personal choice. So I'm going to come on these corners. So it's only going to come to here. We already cut this off. But don't forget, I'm going to cut off even more of it. So some of this is going to go away anyway. Maybe I haven't explained completely what I'm doing yet, but you're going to have to bear with me because it's easier to show you than to tell you on this one. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hi, honey. Do you need to craft? Kitty needs to craft. Kitty likes to craft. She's here somewhere. She's like that doll that you see, like that clown doll that creeps up on you. She just makes little noises, and then she gets closer and closer. 
That's what having kitties like, huh? You're here somewhere, aren't you? You can't fool mommy. Mommy knows you're here. I kind of like this piece. Sometimes you fall in love with a piece. Let me show you why I like this piece. This piece has a little piece of something on it. So that'll be fun to either doodle. We'll put that by the queen. I'm not worried about getting um, right up to her feet. I can do something in there. All right, this one, I think, I hope you can see these ones down here. Boop. I'm gonna go tall on this one. See, oh, hi, honey, I hear you. I hear Kitty, that one's too big for what we're doing now. Now we got stuff going on. And I just like to have a border. Usually I would have a couple different papers, but um, I don't have a couple different papers pulled out and I wanna keep moving today because I'm excited about doing this. And there's things I wanna do besides making the backgrounds. There we go. And some of that, don't forget, it's gonna get cut off when we cut off the lady on the other side. And I need one more piece. Let's do a skinny mini. Hi, honey. Okay, perfect. So now we have this background, this border, and this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna come and I'm gonna come right up on her toesies, her pointy toesy shoesies. Make sure I just have one. And I am going to cut her out. And when I cut things out, I go on the angle that's best for me. I don't need to save this piece of cardstock. So I just go and I turn it because it's kind of hard with your journal. Um, like normally with a piece of paper, I actually turn the paper and I cut with the scissors, but with your journal, it's harder. Okay. So I am gonna have to, let's get rid of these guys. Open cans of paint. Who approved this? All right, here we go. All right, so now we're cut up to here. Now we wanna come down here, cut over here. And I'm a righty, if you're a lefty, do it opposite. My son's a lefty. So I know about the problems lefties have. He's not actually a lefty, he's ambidextrous, which is so wicked cool. If you could be ambidextrous, pick to do it. Like if a genie comes and gives you a wish, I don't know that's the wish I'd pick, but if that's one of the things he's offering, pick that because it would be so much easier to cut your magazine collages. Uh-oh, Queen Latifah's not stuck down very well. Okay, imagine that. Let's get this girl stuck. And don't stress out. You can always come back in, get a little closer. Did I not? I thought I stuck it down. And I think I've taken the tiniest bit of her shadow chin off, which is fine. She has giant backward eyes. Nobody is going to pay attention to how well I cut off her shoulder, right? Right. You gotta consider the source. Okay. And I have been a little bit not totally inspired by this. I didn't take a class. Diane Ravely does this. She has um, she has masks and cutouts of her grandkids, and she does this with um, like she doodles in them, and then she makes the sides. So slightly, I'm I kind of want to go this way. How can I go this? Oh, can I go this way? You just got to keep. Turn in your journal until it makes it easy to cut. And I feel something that isn't stuck on here. So I was in, for sure inspired by her, but I don't think she, oh, it's her eyeballs. All right, we gotta stick down her eyeballs so they don't get hurt. Um, a lot of times I'll stick things to a page. Now, that having been said, I have taken a ton of classes on collage. I'll put a couple of links to a couple of them in um, the descri description. 
Um, I have taken a ton of collage classes, like how to paint on your collage, how to do simple collage from Diane. She's been doing it for 20 years. So um, if you're looking for a mentor, she is great and she's fun. You'll love her. Okay, so this is good. Boop, boop, boop. See, we stuck that page down. Now I'm going to do the background for this one in blue and green and then I'll be right back. Don't worry, I won't stick this part down without you. Because this is that tall girl with the um, like boating clothes on. This is this girl. So I will paint this and be right back. I forgot to give her her butterfly wing. It's okay. You can always cheat a butterfly wing. So we have blue, purple, and this one. Let's see. Does she need a big? Oh, she kind of needs a big wing, I feel like. What do you think? Maybe I'll put their wings on after and like glossy accent them. Okay, we're not going to worry about that right this second. We're going to glue this girl on. And you can, like, so I've pretty much dried that paint. You can, um, paint is glue. You could glue. <laughs> we do pay our electric bill. What that is, is my husband has automated our entire house and the, the heat and air go up and down and the lights get turned off everywhere because there's a slight chance that our family is not good at turning off lights. So every once in a while, when I'm doing my videos, it goes dark. Okay, I forgot to do the edges again, but that's okay. So I want her eye for sure to be on the cardstock, right? I might cut a little bit more off to make it look more realistic, but I need her eye to be on the cardstock so that it has support behind it, right? That's super important. So when we come along here, let me glue, that's glued down. Let me glue down this side of her eyes. Oh, that's Julia Roberts back there. She's a cute girl. Uh-oh. I got blue paint on her eye. I got blue paint on here. I'm getting blue paint all over. Okay, so this one, we're gonna come up on this part of her tennis shoe, and I'm just gonna cut back around her. This is a quality professional operation. We have lights the whole entire time, said not me. And I don't wanna cut her little fingers. I don't want anything on this edge to be super delicate because that's kinda why I picked these girls that were more, um, Oh, we didn't cut her neck, but that's okay. We can do it now and we can paint. Look, I like when I mess up because I feel like you guys think a mess up is the end of your project. And I'm like, oh, look, I messed up again. Darn it. So this, I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to fix this. Don't worry because we got to fix her neck, right? Her neck is giant. We don't want her to have the, my um, husband and his mom have thyroid troubles. And one of the things that shows that is a big neck like that. Okay, we're gonna cut off this part of her eye. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, see those girls? Perfect. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this color of paint, which is this, just put a little dab here. And if I didn't have the right color of paint, I could, what could I do? I could use a different color of paint. I could um, outline her, right? And then just cut in her neck. But none of these things are a tragedy. We're, we're making magazine collage, there's nothing that is not fixable 
and there's nothing that's gonna ruin your picture. Let's make marks. We'll make them crosses. I like crosses. I'm just trying to wait for this paint now. Now I guess we could put on our border while we're waiting for stuff to dry. Just a little background texture. No sense in wasting paint, right? All right, I used my um, sloppy journal. I don't know, I gotta come up with a better name for it. Seth Apter, who's on um, YouTube, said instead of wasting your products, like, so that's why I started making marks because he's like, stop wasting your products, put them on a page. And I was like, oh, duh, okay. So this one, we are gonna use two different colors around the border. We're gonna use this plain blue. And then we're gonna use the fancy part of this one. So we get some texture in that border. So watch what happens when you start cutting this up. You start not being able to tell it's a Giorgio Armani suit it just looks like really cool border pieces, right? Right. Okay. Let's put these on. Maybe a tiny bit smaller. I don't want the border to take over. Yes, I know there's wet paint all over my project. So we're going to move this green around into different places. And then we're going to put the blue around. And it's going to be super cute. And you're going to love it. And it's funny because we don't have nearly as much border, do we? Because it's a shorter page. That final page is going to be weensy. I've never done this before. I think, just think, thought it looked like it would be fun to do. To try, anyways. You got to try things. Okay. Let's do this. And have a sticky outie. I like sticky outies in my border. I think they make it more interesting. Sometimes I doodle and sometimes, okay, so you guys um, tend to think that you have to make a whole page. I'm making these girls and part two could be in a little while, right? Because I am i don't have to do the next part of this one. I can be creative and do something different and it's okay right? Everybody's always judgy that my, everybody, my family is always judgy about how many journals I have going or what my projects are or things like that. And you know what? It's just fine. They can judge all they want. And they're not really being mean. They're just like, you need another journal? And I'm like, yeah, I totally need another journal. Um, Let's see. Ooh, that might go right there, huh? Then I need a skinny piece, a long skinny piece. I never worry if it quite fills there because I'm going to do something with that. I'll outline it or do something fun. Okay, so let's make sure this piece is wide enough at least. Doo, doo, doo. I kind of cut like a drunk sailor. And don't forget, this is going to get cut off, right? <laughs> so that little gap is probably going to go away. Now, I do feel like it was much easier to do that background with um, with the paint already in place. So we're going to paint this background. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut her neck. I'm not falling for this one again. Look at me learning from my mistakes this time. I love this lady's dress. Okay. I feel like, oh, well, all right. We're going to leave her kind of higgledy-piggledy. Okay. So don't forget, we got to keep her eye on the, let's make the background first. What colors was this? Uh, peach and, peach and pink. Okay, this time we got Victorian velvet and dried marigold. And we are not using much of this craft. Sometimes you want the background paper and sometimes you don't, right? Don't get stuck. Oh, I think I just floofed. 
paint on my shirt. And I have a apron that my friend made me, an artsy fartsy apron. I'll have to show it to you soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll it out with a blog post. I like to have things. I'm you know, I'm a fancy marketer in real life. I don't just do collage, I'm cool. <laughs> she tells herself over and over again. <laughs> okay, so you can tell there's a little bit of um, blue in here because we had blue in our paintbrush. But um, I like when the colors mix. I'm gonna dry this, I'll be right back. So I cut out the pieces for this border. I got blue on there. Um, and I'm actually gonna put it down first because this time we're not cutting it. So this one, I mean cutting, you know, this side like we've done the rest of them. So I kind of want it to be okay. Plus the paint's still a trifle wet, not too wet. Not as wet as it is sometimes. And I don't want this to be onesie, onesie, onesie. So I am not trying to do one peach, one pink, one peach, one pink, because I think I'm gonna run out anyways. I was thinking I would have enough, but I might not. And if I don't, all will be well. We will figure it out because I'm smart and pretty. So first off, we can cheat this one by making it super skinny. So we need about six linear inches of pink or orange. Let's see what we got hanging around. All right, what is this Maybelline doing that we pulled out? Let's do this. Because we might use this in our collage, but oh, who's the smartest in the land? Look, I made a little bit of blue in there, peeps. And now it's coming back to help me. Right, we have a little bit of blue in here. Now I do think that dark blue in this border would be distracting, so let's cut that out. Cut it out. And this edge we don't need, so we just need a little bit here and there. But happy accidents, is that Bob Ross? I have to watch the video about him. Somebody told me he has a drunk sailor cut. Somebody told me he has a, that there is a documentary about Bob Ross, who seems like he was a really cool guy. I don't wanna learn anything bad about him. I kinda like my borders to be straight. You might like yours to be angly, but I have made angly borders and I have been saddened by having ang angular borders. So you do you. You pick what kind of border you want. Um, I think that's it. I could do one there since I have it. There we go. Okay, nice. All right, now we have our lady. Okay, there we go. We're gonna glue her down. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> tricky. I love leaving those little tricky places for myself to find later. Okay, and I know you're gonna be sad, but I'm not gonna do the doodling on these guys until later I do all my page doodling at the end, and I don't know what's gonna be with them, so I don't feel comfortable doodling them because they might, you know, the page might turn out differently than I thought it would. So we are going to, uh-oh, Probably the paint, yeah, the paint's getting stuck together. But that's okay. I don't worry about that. I think my husband just said we live in Podunk. I think he's interviewing somebody for a job. He's the boss. So he interviews people for jobs and we do live in Podunk, Florida. We're kinda close, we're like equally Podunky to Tampa and Clearwater, but we're about, 
We're about 20 miles to get out of our neighborhood, and then we can start going to wherever we are, or 20 minutes, sorry. 20 minutes to get out of our neighborhood, and then we can start going somewhere. All right, I am super excited with how this is. I should probably turn this, huh? I should probably follow the words of wisdom of somebody super smart and pretty who said, turn your journal to make it easier to cut. And you might laugh at me saying I'm super smart and pretty, but number one, that's something my um, bestie and I do for each other all the time. If she says, I'm smart, and I'm like, and pretty, or if she says, I'm pretty, I say, and smart. So I try to be nice to myself because I have depression um, in real life, and I don't have it right now. It comes and goes. And thank God I had a depression bout just a little bit ago, but it had been quite a while since I had a real bad depression. So the more that I can talk nice to myself, the better. And you don't have to have depression to talk nice to yourself. I give you permission to every time you say you're smart, you can say I'm pretty, or you can say I'm pretty and smart. There you go. All right, here we go. And you can think of Tara and Rebecca who tell each other that all the time. Okay, let's not glue her to the bottom. Does she still have? She still has stuff. I kind of feel like I need to turn for this one. Okay, 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 okay. All right, there we go. Oh, what's this? There's just like random pieces of stuff stuck off my journal right now. And your scissors will work better if you don't use them to cut glue. Just a tip from a glue cutting sister. So I think that this is where we're gonna end today with our girls and our backgrounds done. Look how cute they look together. I kind of like that they go this way. I didn't plan on that, but it's like a tall girl, a medium girl, and a short girl. I'm the short girl. All right, so hopefully that helps. Keep your eyes out for part two, Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.